Yeah, it's Blender with another banger. In this video, we're talking about Falling Off 1700, the shysty stepper who's vowing vengeance after losing one of his Toss Gang soldiers, Mook Money, on the 3rd of June. The official story still develops, but I was able to track some social media postings, and I saw that J. Ryan Smith, the 19-year-old victim, was hit with multiple GSWs to the body and was dropped off in front of a hospital where he succumbed to his wounds. I was able to locate an article and I found details of this article that matched the description. The available details at the moment show a scene where the young man was dropped off early in the morning in front of the hospital where he did not make it past surgery. We can see that Vonoff 1700 vows retaliation. He posted on his Instagram story. Vaughn says, this rap is just an image. Gotta know that I'm still spinning. Which tells us that despite the superstar career hanging over his head, Vaughn is willing to take the risk to do a drill. I made a video that shows Vonoff 1700 allegedly hopping out of a Durango to do a drill at a gas station. Let's watch a small preview, then we'll get back into this video. We see the stolen Durango pull into the gas station. We can see it matches the description of the vehicle in the No Jumper interview. RT Durangos, I don't get in them cars no more. Okay. Uh, we can also see the lyrics match up that Vaughn likes to hop out first when it's time to do a drill. Let's take a look at the surveillance. We can see that the driver opens his door first and the driver is wearing a shysty and glasses. You can also see the pants that the driver As we return to analyzing Vaughn's Instagram stories, we can see that he denies that it was the ops that took out Money Mook, but he still vows to get revenge, as you can see that he's posting several weapons on Instagram. We know that when it's wartime, Vaughn is the one to go on the front line. He doesn't only send goons. Listen to this example. Vaughn off 1700's Toss Gang have been involved in a brutal back and forth with the same gang in Chicago West Side as they battle for dominance and control of the Chirac streets. Every hood feels the need to beef with the other people. This shit, blocks just like, this shit just like the old block beef. They've been into it the longest. That's, that shit been going on. Mm -hmm. Like 20 since 2012, 2011 and shit like that. There used to be some wrong. This shit always been like this. Like everybody who went to it right now, they either been halfway into it or been wanting to get into it or been into it. So it's like, it ain't no like, oh, we was cool with them. Now we into it. It's like that. Some slight times, but mm -hmm. most of the time, this shit been going on. Like, long live, bro. <laughs> we don't die for we like well like look I swear to God look I'm trying to tell them like we don't get hurt a lot like we didn't get hurt and shit but like the ops they die every year like when we pass away it'll be like a long ass span from 2012 to 2016 <laughs> 20, blah, 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 like the last big era was like 2020. Mm -hmm. And that shit don't even count for real because it was like, you know, but these niggas die every year. I'm gonna call you back, brother. Let me finish explaining how these niggas. Vaughn makes it clear that his ops at Sane Gang are not the ones responsible for taking out any of the soldiers from Toss Gang. We're going to keep following the official story as it develops and we'll listen to see if anybody from the Chirac streets claims his body or if the official story gains traction. 
All right, that was another banger from Blender Bars. Let me know if you think that Vonoff 1700 is just talking to gain some clout or if he's really about that and the feds are hot on his trail. Click the screen for another video. Nobody bigger than a chat will keep you updated on the latest in the drill saga in Chirac.